While Atari was cruising full steam ahead with their video game console, many competitors also tried breaking into the market alongside them, but ultimately failed. It wasn't until Toymaker Mattel came along and produced a console of their very own that Atari was about to face their real big competition. Mattel first started dabbling in the video game arena with some simple handheld video games. After those proved successful, they decided to go bigger and create their very own video game system called the Intellivision. In order to make their mark at retail, Mattel needed an edge on Atari, and their strategy consisted of cornering the market on all things sports. They just didn't carry the game football, but football endorsed by the NFL. This also included MLB Baseball, NBA Basketball, PGA Golf, NHL Hockey, NASL Soccer, US Ski Team Skiing, PBA Bowling, Rock'em Sock'em Robot Boxing, and so many more. A US Federation chess sponsored chess game? Well, take that, Atari. Mattel also tried outperforming the Atari's VCS in every way possible. The system had better graphics. Wow! A wider range of sounds. Wow! 12,000% more controller buttons, whoa, and even controllers that were customizable with different plastic overlays. Awesome! There was also a new way to insert the game, okay, controllers attached to the console, uh, and misleading cover art. This looks nothing like the dragon in the game. Oh boy. Of course, despite the aesthetics of the console, it's always the game's library that's the determining factor of success. Well, let's check out the game skiing. Ah yes, a refreshing trek downhill through the snowy slopes. If I can figure out how to move forward, that is. Damn these overcomplicated controls! Well, I guess this is where the controller overlays come in handy. And we're finally moving! Whoops! Ugh! Great, I just sunny bono this game. Well, let's try the game Space Hawk, which features an astronaut flying around in space, dodging all sorts of crazy obstacles. Space asteroids, space bubbles, space seagulls, space seagulls. Ugh. If only I had a space Alka-Seltzer right about now. Well, now let's check out some horse racing. Time to place my bet with the computer bookie, and away we go! If I can figure out which button starts the game... What the hell?! Ah! And of course I don't have the stupid controller overlay for this game either. Ugh. I forget it! Well, now time for some sea battle. Alright man, full steam ahead, take us out. Oh, aye aye captain! Anything yet, Lieutenant? Nope, not a thing, sir. Well, son of a bitch. Well, in that case, Lieutenant, take us to the nearest nudie bar. All right. Pathetic. Well, let's move on to Night Stalker. In this game, I must be very careful not to alert any monster of my presence. One false move and they'll know I'm here and they'll come to attack me. Uh-oh. Crap. Well, let's just switch gears here to the fantasy game called Dragonfire. Time to send our knight into battle. I'm sure that's just a fluke. I'll get it next time. Alright, one more time. One more time. One more time. Oh, this is freaking ridiculous! I can't even make it off the first screen! Yes! No! You want dragon fire? I'll give you a dragon fire!
Well, I guess there's always the game Star Strike, where your mission is to fight off tons of these alien ships. Time to kill us some aliens! And of course, if the Force isn't with you, they'll end up blowing up the planet with their giant Death Star. Use the Force, Chris. I'm doing just fine, you coot. What? Here goes my favorite restaurant. I told you to use the force, you idiot. Hmm, I should have just called this game Star Wars. Either that, or defend Alderaan. Well, let's try this later released title called Beauty and the Beast, where this giant ape has grabbed the beauty and climbs up a tall skyscraper. Uh, shouldn't this game be called King Kong? Well, anyways, you control this guy that must climb up the windows to reach the big giant ape. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Oh! <coughs> Sorry, ma'am, don't mind me. <coughs> and of course, one of the obstacles here are these barrels being thrown by this giant ape. Wait a minute! Something shady going on here. Well, time for some triple action. Triple action nothing. This is just the game tank! Well, how about reversing? Checkers! Lock and chase? How far crying out loud? That just looks like a rehash of the game Pac-Man! A Pac-Who? Alright, now we'll get to him in a couple episodes. Yes, it's true. And television had many titles that mirrored popular video games that were already available on the VCS. When the system launched in the Christmas season of 1979, sales started off very slow and picked up with each passing year. Mattel's video game system never did outperform the Atari because they just couldn't compete with the video game library that was exclusive only to the VCS. And as history will show, the golden age of video games was about to begin. All right, guys, there you go. Another history of video games completed. For all the past episodes, make sure you check out the playlist there. And for the Irate Gamer videos, check out the playlist there. Make sure to subscribe, and as always, Game on.